Hey YouTube, so after about a thousand kilometers of riding, my 9bot ES4 has developed a stem wobble. You can kind of barely make it out from the video, but the wobble is noticeable enough while riding um, to be kind of unnerving and annoying. Okay, so inside here, there are two nuts one that's closest and one that's kind of deep inside, it's pretty hard to see there. The first mo most closest one, you want to rotate uh, this way to loosen it up close to the spring. Then you will be able to rotate the bottom one in the opposite direction, uh, this way, and that will allow you to tighten up the stem. Uh, you'll only be able to do it kind of finger tight. You won't be able to get it precise, but yeah. In my experience, I found that something that made the process a lot easier was removing the stem. So you need to take out the four screws in red and slide the stem upwards. You'll then need to disconnect the electrical cables. So the nut tightening process itself is kind of finny finicky and annoying. Um, I found this method where I use the screwdriver to hold the nut steady and I actually rotate the wheel or the stem and that, yeah, that works as a pretty good way to get it tight. So once the inner nut is as tight as you can get it, just uh, screw in the outer nut and that will kind of lock it in place. Much, much better. I can already feel it. Thank you. Next up, you want to replug those cables, uh, making sure that the ones with the heavy duty connectors are plugged in, you know, correct colors, so like blue to blue, brown to brown, etc. Alright, then you reinsert the stem. First off, you've got to stuff those cables back into the bottom section. Might need a bit of readjusting to get it all aligned. And then it just kind of pops on. And yeah, chuck those stem screws back in. Uh, you may need to use like Loctite to get these screws to stay in because I've seen them personally, yeah, come out on their own. But yeah, that's basically it. So um, leave a comment if this worked for you or if you thought this was a bunch of bullshit or if you know a better way of doing it. But yeah, uh, I encourage you to have a heated discussion in the comment section. Alright, thanks. Bye.